Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I know I'm sorry that we're back, but I want to just thank all the two and a half fans that we have for welcoming us back. <laughs> um, Craig, did you see a lot of the videos that we've been doing? Um, we've hit some big numbers. I did. Appreciate it was, that. It was nice to see. Yeah. So hammer the like button, hammer out a share, and, uh, you know, complain about my beard again. People have been complaining about my beard, and apparently... Um, I have low testosterone too. They complain about that on the comments, but according to my doctor, that's not actually true. So whatever, but fireworks, Atlanta, they've been doing some fireworks in Atlanta. It's been a hot topic. Lately. It's been crazy, man. And you know, it reminded me of when I was accused of fireworks and smashing up mailboxes and stuff as a kid. Hopefully, teenager. A few weeks ago. Most grow Plus out of it. Plus 30 years. Plus 30 years, okay. <laughs> Welcome to the Matt Logan Show. I saw this video. Let's put it on camera three here, and let's kind of play this video. Hopefully, they can see a little bit of it. But uh, fireworks going off, shooting at these police officers, trying to get the gate closed. You know, people come up with excuses all the time for different things, and their excuse for this garbage is that, uh, unfortunately, um, someone lost their life. But th the police officer who was shot was not killed. Correct. The person that lost their life was the person that shot the police officer. Correct. Not an innocent protester. No. By any means, um, don't get spun by that they shot at the police first and the police retaliated self-defense well i wouldn't even say retaliated yeah self-defense for sure self -defense. They, were, they, they ended it right they so stopped the threat. i've never i don't remember starting a fight in my life i have ended a few okay I'm just sick <laughs> of it man with words but, or fists uh yes okay good answer <laughs> um but anyway uh, so cops show up and talk to my mom, show up to my house, talk mm -hmm. to my mom. They're like, your son's a POS. He's shooting fireworks at people's houses and, and he's running their mailboxes down and all kinds of stuff, right? You're such a troublemaker. And um, so it turns out that um, it wasn't me because I never did it. Really? I have lit off some fireworks when I was a kid and as an adult, but yeah. never at anybody or anybody's house. I've never knocked over mailboxes. I've done some stupid crap, but I've never done anything like that. Mm -hmm. The point of that is, is that they came and they were like, look, this is a bad deal. Now you can shoot fireworks at cops and it's okay. Without consequence. This is garbage. Absolutely. Um, and... You can't redefine things to a point where uh, this kind of stuff is okay. I mean, this is a $100,000 vehicle right here, a piece of equipment. If it's old and abused. Right. Yeah. And so, you know, destruction of property and, and all these other things. But um, I, I, I just, man, I don't know. The reason, Craig, we're back on the air now today, well, there's a few reasons. One, I showed up today. <laughs> That's a good start. <laughs> The, uh, the, uh, another reason is, is, um, I had some complaints about some stuff that was done literally two years ago and I'm like, you're kidding, right? They, I got a strike on YouTube from April of 2021. Wow. Mm -hmm. It's March of 2023. Yeah. So Jeez. somebody decided to complain, and it's literally now like fuel in my gas tank. <laughs> Watch you, out. <laughs> you want to complain about me, a little dorky peon, terrible bearded low T idiot on a video done two years ago. Apparently you struck a nerve. I'm like... So this kind of stuff, we can't let it happen. We can't let people, I mean, you're trying to cancel me. I, I'm hard, I hardly post anything. I think that's got to change clearly, but it's, it's a weird deal. 
You get people that just think they can go around and destruct and cancel and all this stuff. And the reason that they're doing it and getting away with it is because no one is drawing a line. Right. They're not being held accountable for their actions. Right. It's like you can't cross this line. And if you do, no. Mm -hmm. Which, um, to be completely honest, I'm not prepared for. But the there was, to date, I believe, 23 people arrested um, in this whole Atlanta thing people that were arrested or detained or whatever you want to call it uh some of them here here we go here's some of them uh these are domestic terrorists uh, no they're international terrorists there's people from other countries yeah that are in that group and that's what i was going to say so there's domestic I'm and sorry. international so you're good jump ahead you there. got me no yeah jump in always so it's it's just um Clearly, that's funded. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Why would somebody from Europe come over here to protest the Atlanta Police Department? Right. Oh, yeah. And you brought up a point. Um, you know, people are like, you know, cops need better training, and you know, okay, they're building what a facility to train them, exactly. and they're in there burning it down. Right. Makes a lot of sense. And and some of them are, oh well, it's a bad location, and we're inviting them environmentalists that don't want it there well it's gonna go somewhere it needs to go somewhere if you want law enforcement to improve and right across the road from the new training facility is the protesters encampment okay so if you want to be earth friendly does your encampment have proper waste systems does it have proper septic systems so you're not just crapping in the woods like oh they're crapping in like, the woods come on man I mean, look at what was left over at the protests up in North Dakota on the pipeline. Yeah. They destroyed that area. It wasn't the yeah. pipeline. It was the protesters. Yeah. Absolute dump. Everywhere they go, that is the case. Yeah. It, it's it's unbelievable. So um, it's not about the issue of uh, the police not being good or anything like that. It's about people making a stink, mm -hmm. getting their way, right. and then next week they don't even know what their way is anymore. And we've been very vocal for the last two years on, I th I think we have of bad cops need to be held accountable for as sure. well. We're not defending all cops. Um, so I've been doing this a little longer than that. So, yeah. but you with with the group. Yeah, but like for me personally, like ab and, and, uh, and most cops you talk to, no, we need to get rid of the bad cops because yeah. it makes them all look really bad. Right. And it's not a big percentage that are bad. No. Um, but there are bad doctors. There's bad there, There's bad chefs. Have you seen the menu? Yeah, there's bad podcasters. It, it, duh. Duh. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's it's a mess. We, as humans, whether you're on the left or the right or whatever it is, this can't keep going on. No. I mean, people have to stand up and say, look, yeah, we don't like the police. And that's, that's your prerogative. That's, that is, but we can't have this either. No, there's better ways to get your point across. Yeah. Destroying property and firing guns at police or anybody. That's not the way to go about getting change. No, it's not. No. Got anything else? No. Yo, hey, you have choices of what content you consume. Thanks for consume. Wait. Thanks to the person that held your eyelids open and made this really loud so that you had to watch and listen to us. Appreciate those people. See you next time.